The Universal Greeting Hi! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Start Here with Jefferson YouTube channel. Welcome to the Start Here with Inspiration 365. The Start Here with Inspiration 365 playlist on our YouTube channel Start Here with Jefferson is a fantastic resource for anyone looking to find motivation and inspiration in their daily lives. By featuring a wide range of quotes from various sources, our playlist provides viewers with diverse insights and perspectives that can help them navigate life's challenges and pursue their goals with renewed vigor. What sets our playlist apart is the way we go beyond simply citing the quotes and taking the time to explain and teach with them. Each quote is accompanied by thoughtful commentary that unpacks its meaning and provides practical advice for applying its lessons to one's own life. By doing so, we help our viewers better understand the quotes and how they can use them to improve their lives. The title for this episode The title for this week's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Finding Joy in Little Things. About Finding Joy in Little Things Finding joy in little things is a philosophy that encourages recognizing and appreciating the small, often overlooked moments of happiness in everyday life. It's a mindset that values the beauty in simplicity and the significance of small pleasures. This approach suggests that true contentment and fulfillment can be derived from being present now and finding delight in ordinary experiences. Whether it's a quiet moment of reflection, the warmth of sunlight, a shared smile, or the beauty of nature, this perspective invites individuals to cultivate gratitude and mindfulness. Embracing finding joy in little things fosters a positive outlook, resilience, and a deeper appreciation for the richness of life's tapestry. It's a reminder that happiness isn't solely found in grand events but is woven into the fabric of our daily existence. Introducing this week's authors. This week, we are accompanied by a diverse group of authors who share their insights on various aspects of life. Emily Dickinson, John Kabat-Zinn, Antonio Smith, Albert Schweitzer, Albert Einstein, Bo Bennett, and Elizabeth Gilbert. These authors offer a rich mosaic of perspectives, from the scientific to the spiritual, encouraging reflection and growth. Today's subtitle The subtitle for today's start here with Inspiration 365 is Finding Joy in Little Things. Part 4 of 7 Today's quotation Quote Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. Unquote. Today's quotation is by Albert Swazer. About the author of today's quote. Albert Schweitzer was a polymath whose contributions spanned theology, music, philosophy, and medicine. Born in 1875 in Alsace, then part of the German Empire, Schweitzer initially studied theology and philosophy, earning a doctorate in theology. He was an accomplished organist and musicologist, writing extensively on the works of Johann Sebastian Bach. 1905, Schweitzer became a medical missionary, enrolling in a medical program. He earned his medical degree in 1913, and shortly afterwards, he and his wife set up a hospital in Lamborghini, Gabon, in Central Africa. The Judgment While the idea that happiness leads to success is widely embraced, some might argue that 
there are instances where success precedes happiness, particularly in situations where individuals achieve their goals and then find happiness in that accomplishment. Critics may also contend that the relationship between happiness and success is complex and context dependent. The key. The code underscores the importance of finding joy and passion in your pursuits as a catalyst for success. It suggests that aligning your work with what brings you happiness is crucial for achieving success. The key message lies in the interconnection between happiness and success, emphasizing that a fulfilling and joyful journey can lead to triumphant outcomes. The application Applying this code involves introspection to discover what truly really brings you happiness professionally. It encourages you to evaluate your current endeavors and, if necessary, make changes to align your work with your passions. Doing what you love makes you more likely to invest the time and effort required for success. The image The symbolic imagery in the code portrays happiness as a key, emphasizing its pivotal role in unlocking the door to success. The image suggests a journey where happiness acts as a guide and motivator, leading you through the challenges towards the door of success. The Potential Reversal Individuals might argue that success brings happiness in specific scenarios, especially if the achievements align with aspirations. Cultural and societal expectations may challenge the idea that happiness should precede success, as some traditions emphasize hard work and achievements as sources of joy. The Conclusion In conclusion, the wisdom in Sweja's words encourages you to reflect on your relationship with success and happiness. It's a call to find joy in your pursuits as this positive energy can fuel your journey towards success. The code suggests a holistic approach to life where happiness is not just a byproduct of success but an integral part of achieving your goals. About start here with Jefferson. Hi, my name is Jefferson. You are on a journey because life is a journey, not a destination. It doesn't matter where you are going, it's whom you have beside you. You are ready for the journey, but you need a trustworthy guide. You need a mentor to show you the way. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can achieve more. Let's go on the journey together. Start here with Jefferson. My purpose is to guide and lead you so you can attract and magnetize key people, key moments, key opportunities, key blessings, key resources, and key ideas that will propel you to your place of destiny. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you do? Start here. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The hardest part of any journey is taking the first step. The unexamined life is not worth living. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolutely no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you choose to do? 
What are your goals in life? Whom do you admire most in the world and why do you admire them? What is your purpose in life? Where are you coming from and where are you going to? Change is necessary for continued growth. Where there is no change, there is no life. Your growth is the key to the life you desire. Your growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow will get better. My desire is to help you develop the right mental attitude to discover your true strength so you can tap into your passion to grow and become successful in your endeavors. A message from Jefferson As we wrap up this episode, I want to express my deepest gratitude to all of you. Your time and attention are more valuable than words can convey and I appreciate your being part of our community. In the face of life's trials, I want to impart this to you. No matter the challenges, don't surrender. Keep holding on a little longer. Change like the dawn is on the verge and your resilience will guide you through. Before you click away, consider joining our community by hitting that subscribe button. It's more than just a click. It's an invitation to be integral to a space built on inspiration and growth. And don't forget the bell icon, your path to being the first to witness the magic of our newest creations. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. I eagerly anticipate our connection in the next episode. Until then, take care, stay inspired, and remember the best is yet to come.